Hello and welcome to WIT Studio. Here we will take you through the different functions of the Assister PS Layer Guider. The Layer Guider offers various functions that are necessary for completing a design guideline task. These amazingly useful functions are sure to impress anyone who's ever had to work on a guide design. The Layer Guider tutorial consists of two parts. You are currently viewing Part 1. In Part 1, we will describe the four major functions of the Layer Guider. First, you have the Each Layer checkbox. By checking this box, you can choose to make calculations for each layer separately, even when you are handling several layers at once. Next, you have Color Settings. You can use this to choose the color of the guide data to be generated in a sister PS. For now, let us choose red. Next to color settings, you have Guider Preferences, which allows you to choose from the overall options of the Layer Guider. We will explain the details to you a little later as we go through the different Guider functions. First, let's try determining the coordinates of a layer. In order to use a sister, you must select a layer in Photoshop. Choose the layer whose coordinates you would like to determine. Then, click on this button. The coordinates are displayed automatically using the top left corner of the canvas as the zero, zero point. Simple, isn't it? We should note here that all of the guide data generated through a sister PS are automatically generated and stored in the Photoshop layer window as at a sister underscore guide group layers. Each of the Layer Guider's functions offers various options to choose from. Guide data is generated in accordance with the options you choose. Now, let us explain how to use the Each Layer checkbox, which we mentioned a little while ago. When the Each Layer checkbox is checked, you are able to determine the coordinates of each layer separately. When the Each Layer checkbox is not checked, the selected layers are treated as a single layer, and only one set of coordinates is displayed. Now, we will show you how to determine a layer size. By selecting a layer and clicking on this button, you can determine the size of the layer. Just like before, the displayed guide data will differ depending on whether or not the Each Layer checkbox is checked. In Options, you can choose the type of outputted data. Display Width Only, Height Only, or Both Width and Height. Now, let's go back to the Guider Preferences window we saw earlier. In Output Settings, you can designate the Type Info, Size, and Color of the Guide Data to be outputted and also determine the units to be used. The Creative Background option can be used when the color of the guide data is similar to the color of the object, making it difficult to see. By using this option, you can create a background for the guide data, allowing for easier visibility.
here, we offer such options as creating a link between the generated guide and the guide text, and making group layers from guides with different functions. This section hasn't been activated yet, but we plan to update it for use very soon. Now, let's take a look at how to determine spacing. For spacing, it doesn't matter whether or not the Each Layer checkbox is checked. This function only works when two layers have been selected. By selecting two layers and clicking on this button, you can determine the distance between the two layers. In Options, you can choose from three different spacing options. Next, we'll show you how to determine type info. This function works only when a text layer has been selected. By selecting a text layer and clicking on this button, you can determine the type info of the selected layer. In Options, you can choose whether or not to include a guideline and choose the type of outputted data. This is the end of Part 1. We have looked at the four major functions of the Layer Guider. For instructions on how to use the guide box, layer snips, and layer description, please watch our Layer Guider Tutorial Part 2. Thank you.